Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tash and I'm a holistic health coach and breathwork facilitator. So in this video, I wanted to talk all about amenorrhea, which is the loss of your period and vegetarianism and seeing if there's a link. A lot of people kind of think that there is a link and I wanna dive into that by personal experience, what I've seen with clients and also some studies. So on a personal level, I'll give you a little bit about my backstory. So I actually did used to eat meat and I decided to become vegetarian slash vegan, don't really like labels, kind of not eating meat and not eating fish and eating some dairy but not all dairy, that kind of vibe. I became that and then the same month I stopped my birth control pill and decided to come off the pill and I didn't get my period. So it was from a numerous things now having got my period but I realised it was from numerous things such as I was exercising maybe a bit too much, the energy imbalance basically of what I was giving myself to fuel and how much my body was expending that was not in alignment really, not balanced and also a bit of a stress head, got some mental stress going on, a bit of that I believe as well blockage within my womb space which I helped clear via breath work which is why I'm so keen with breath work and yes yeah, so I was also a vegetarian person if you want to call it that during that time so I didn't know whether maybe I was a bit nutrient deficient which the pill can deplete a lot of nutrients and it does deplete a lot of nutrients actually so it could be a mixture of all those different things now, during my journey, I went to an acupuncturist and after a few sessions, maybe about five, I think it was, maybe four, I really can't remember the exact amount, they said to me, I think you should start eating some meat. No pressure, but like eat maybe half a hamburger a week. So a really small amount, but just give your body that bit of meat that it might need to get a period. That's what he believed. So I did that. Again, I can't really remember the exact precise amount of time I did it for a few weeks, so maybe four weeks, something like that. Didn't get my period and just didn't like it at all. Felt really grossed out by it. So I stopped that completely because obviously I didn't get a period miraculously straight away, which I wanted. Didn't like doing it and felt it was not aligned with me. So I totally stopped that. So anyway, I got my period back, still being vegetarian, vegan, whatever you want to call it, not really vegan because I do eat dairy now and then that kind of vibe and also I have continued to get my period with eating this way as well now I see clients as well that have that come to me because they are vegan maybe because they are attracted to me the fact that I also eat as in a similar manner and I'm not going to force anyone to change their habits at all and I have got clients periods back with them being fully vegan it's not really I don't believe it's really the diet, the veganism diet or the vegetarian diet that causes amenorrhea. I think it is the restrictiveness that you put on that diet. It's not the restrictiveness of that diet, if that makes sense. Some people might say that they're vegetarian or vegan because of disordered eating, eating habits, which obviously is totally different. That's not because of the diet that you're on. That is your mental kind of link that you've put towards that diet. Maybe you're scared to eat um, loads of chocolate or whatever and you think that cutting out dairy might be good or things like that a lot of people might be scared of incorporating fats as well so people might be vegetarian and not really eating many fats and they are the building blocks of our hormone production so we need fats as well so again I wouldn't say it's the diet it is how you've incorporated and what you've incorporated the foods you've incorporated in that diet so let's get into actual studies so all the studies that I've looked at they are all inconclusive, whether there's a link between amenorrhea, the loss of your period for over three months, to vegetarianism. These are inconclusive because of the limited amount of information in each studies. So there's a study that suggests that vegetarian diets can cause menstrual disturbances, but the results vary with characteristics of the vegetarian group studies. However, results of a carefully controlled perspective study showed clearly that vegetarian women did not have an increased prevalence of subclinical, big word there, menstrual disturbances. So within that study, they're basically saying that they have not found the link between the menstrual disturbances and vegetarianism. So in another small study, normal weighted women were randomly assigned to lose weight at a rate of one kilogram a week on either a vegetarian diet or a non-vegetarian diet. 
Both groups lost the same amount of weight, but only two of the nine women assigned to the vegetarian diet had normal ovulatory cycles, compared to seven out of the nine women that consumed the non-vegetarian diets. So this study is actually very limited because it hasn't taken into account any of the lifestyle factors of the women. So yeah, more people had ovulatory cycles according to this study, again very small study two out of two out of nine and seven out of nine for the non-vegetarian diet but what what was their lifestyle like was they way less stress was they not really exercising much what was their lifestyle like as well basically also how good was the vegetarian diet was it given by a nutritionist dietitian and it's really hits the point it does cover all the macro and micronutrients that you need who knows the study also mentions that the women were normal weight to start with so it could even just be down to the fact that there's weight loss involved that all of the participants lost weight doing these diets that could even be the major factor later the same study stated that weight stable vegetarian women consuming self-selected diets did not experience more menstrual disturbances than did healthy, weight-stable non-vegetarians, but more studies are needed. In another study of 173 pre-menopausal athletes, the prevalence of amenorrhea was 31% among the 45 vegetarians, and this was defined as eating no red meat. How is that vegetarian if they're just not eating red meat, but they're eating other meat? I don't really understand that. 14% among the 44 women who described their diet as high carb, low fat, and only 4% among the 84 who consumed a balanced four food group diet. Again, this study is really limited. We don't know the duration and many other factors here. It also doesn't confirm if the high carb, low fat people actually ate meat either. And then it even says about the non-vegetarian people not eating red meat, but kind of making you think that they eat other meat. In another study, it was actually concluded that ovulatory disturbances and restrained eating are less common among vegetarians. This was a small study again and doesn't really confirm what restrained eating actually is. So maybe you're thinking, hold up, okay, what about iron? So vegetarians are more likely to have lower iron stores compared to non-vegetarians, according to studies. However, high iron stores are actually linked to type 2 diabetes and other risks. So it is actually recommended that not only vegetarians, but also non-vegetarians control their iron status by consuming more plants and less meat. Irregular periods and amenorrhea can be linked to anemia, and anemia can be caused by lots of different factors such as low iron, low folate, and low B12. Heme iron comes from animals' blood, so vegetarians do not have access to this. However, heme iron is related to cancer and heart disease, with a 57 increase risk of heart disease with higher heme iron consumption. I'm unable to find any studies to do with heme iron and amenorrhea, losing your periods or missing periods, so that kind of tells me that there's no link there. One study found that women who exercised with normal ovulatory cycles were at a greater risk of iron depletion than women who exercised and had amenorrhea. So this is likely due to the blood loss of the period, and also exercise can affect our iron levels, but this overall suggests that anyone can be at risk to low iron levels, not just people who are experiencing amenorrhea. From what I can gather, vegetarians are at a higher risk for low iron levels. However, it appears that there's not a link between heme iron and losing your period or missing periods. So this means that by having non-heme iron foods, increasing that should be absolutely fine along with maybe taking a multivit or a B12. You can also increase the absorption of iron by up to 5% more if you pair it with a vitamin C rich food. So let's say you're having some spinach, just sprinkle over some lemon, like lemon juice over that, and you're helping increase that absorption. I hope this answers your questions about if there is a link between being vegetarian and missing your periods. Obviously, everyone is totally different and some people might not do very well on a vegetarian diet, but I kind of always feel like it goes down to what your diet is and if you're hitting all those macro and micronutrients and basically fueling your body correctly along with sleep, along with stress, along with how much you're exercising, a whole load of things basically, not just the actual diet. 